Hello everyone, it might be the trickiest question you've ever seen, we have 2 plus 2 times 0. Seems pretty basic, it looks like the easiest question you've ever seen, we have addition, we have multiplication, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. But what is the correct answer? Because a lot of students make this mistake, a lot of students solve this question absolutely incorrect, so in this video let's check our algebra skill, and right now let's pause the video, try to solve it by yourself, what do you think is the correct answer? We have three options, so choose one option, what do you think is the correct, and write your option down into the comment section, it will be really interesting to check our answers. Okay, there are two types of students. So first type of students solve this question like that. We have this question, so we have two plus two and times zero. A lot of students from school know that if you multiply the number by zero, we have zero as a result. So it doesn't matter what number, what value do you have on the left hand side. If you multiply by zero, we have zero as, uh, as our answer. Yeah, so for example, we have like 100 times zero. Yeah, this is equal to zero, or doesn't matter, like four times zero, this is equal to equal to zero. And a lot of students solve this question like that. A lot of students say, okay, we have two plus two on the left hand side, which is equal to four, and we multiply this four times zero. So as you can see, completely the same as right here. So four times zero equal to equal to zero. So a lot of students solve this solve this question like that. But in math, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem because we can't solve our question randomly. We should know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question right now it was our first approach for example and right now I want I'm going to solve this question with I'm going to show you the second approach but this approach will be according to for example let's look at this PIM DMC order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world all internet libraries scientific graphing calculator works according to PIM DMC so right now let's solve this question according to this PIM DMC order of operation so we have two plus two and times zero. Okay, here's our challenge. So right now we should scan what elements do we have in our question. If we go to this PMDMC, this PMDMC works from the top to the bottom, so in a strict order from the top to the bottom, the highest priority parentheses, the lowest priority addition and subtraction. So if we scan parentheses, we don't have any parentheses, so we just we just skip this part. What about exponents? We don't have any exponent, it's like a regular expression without any exponents, so we just skip this part as well. The next step, multiplication division part, and this is really important moment because we find our first step, this is multiplication step, right here we have multiplication, we skip this division because we don't have it, but finally we find this multiplication sign, we have it signed right here, but we apply this sign only to these two values, to 2 and 0, we're not applying this sign to this expression on the left hand side, okay, so it looks like our first, first step is to solve this multiplication part, so we have 2 plus 2 times 0 equal to 0. And we have 2 plus 2 plus 0, seems pretty basic, we don't need our order of operation right now, because everyone knows that this is equal to, equal to 2, yeah, we have right here our addition as our last step, so this is like our, our second step right here, this is our addition part, and we don't have subtraction. So as you can see, we have only two steps. And multiplication is all the time before addition. So firstly, we multiply, then we then we add. And right now, really important moment, because a lot of students uh, think that correct answer is 1, is the first approach. Right here, the correct answer here is 0. We multiply this by, uh, by the whole expression on the left-hand side, and the correct answer is 0. But I want to say, uh, for this, uh, for my answer, is next one. Right here, correct answer is second approach right here, because we solved it according to a correct order of operation. And if you look closely to this first approach, this is, looks like a good approach, but with parentheses, this is like a great approach, because then we should multiply it first, then parentheses has the highest priority, yeah, then we should uh, add uh, right here, addition will be before multiplication, because we have addition inside parentheses. So firstly, we add inside parentheses, and a correct answer will be zero. So according uh, to our question, so here's our first interpretation, correct answer is option A, but with parentheses. In our question we don't have parentheses, so the correct answer is option Option B is a correct answer. This is very this is the easiest question you've ever seen, but a lot of students make this mistake. So let's write our answer. Let's write our answer. This is option. Option B is a correct answer to this challenge. With parentheses, correct answer is option option A without parentheses, here's our, our expression, correct answer is option, option B is a correct answer. So we hope you understand my explanation, I hope you learned something new, moreover I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, I hope you, you understand my explanation and the next time you'll get better at this through practice, you'll be like okay, now I get it, so let's go and ahead uh, apply the order of operation, here's our expression, here's our order of operation, and here's our our option, so I hope you'll never solve this randomly, you, you have order 
window of operation, expression and option, and you go through the steps real quick, step by step. So we hope your answer is B. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, you can go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.